Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Brittany. We are back at it again. This video is basically going to be an extension to um, August BoxyCharm because I always do a look with one of the palettes that I get in either my base box or my premium box. And in the base box, we got a Give Them Lala Beauty palette, which is so amazing. I love her show. I love Vanderpump Rules. I follow her on Instagram. I love her whole line. I honestly never thought that her stuff would ever be in BoxyCharm, but it is. And I think this palette retailed for $42 and I got five other things for $25 and I think the box all together everything in it was like $206 so that's amazing um I always do a look so we are going to do kind of like a neutral dark smoky eye um with this palette there's no really crazy pops of colors it's all warm neutrals um there's four shimmers princess of bel-air i do the ring and say yes are the shimmer shades and then all of the other shades are matte um i love this palette i love the names i love everything about it so let's get started grab a snack and let's go so i already did my base um some people do their base their foundation and concealer and all that last um, obviously I'm baking. I do that first just because it's easier for me. Um, I don't really ever run into issues where it runs down and it lays on my foundation. Um, you can easily just put setting powder underneath your eyes like you're baking and then wipe it off when you're done doing your eyes. So I've never run into that. I know like a lot of makeup artists run into that and they always do their eyes first and then their foundation but even on my clients um i had a wedding this summer and i just did a couple homecoming looks um because kids are obviously back in school and um a friend of mine her daughter is in high school and they go to homecoming at the beginning of the school year and i just tested some looks on her um this week and they said the same thing and and when i did the bridesmaids and the bride at the wedding that i did in may they never said anything or ran into any issues with that either um i always just do the foundation first that way you know you can do your eyes your mascara um your lips whatever and touch up whatever you need to touch up and then just go um i did my bronzer i did a little contour i don't really contour i had a friend of mine ask me if i can contour her face and you know what she would look like compared to wearing nothing you do look a little different i'm gonna be honest but it's nothing to the point where people are gonna say oh my gosh i hardly recognized you like yes <laughs> there are females out there and males who look completely different in makeup than wearing nothing when they're just at home or whatever yes that is totally and completely true but contouring shouldn't be that harsh that you look like a completely different person. I mean, at least for me, I don't want to look like that. I love the way that I look. I love my skin. I am naturally beautiful. I don't have any really bad skin issues. Um, I've been told people like me better without makeup because you know, I have naturally long lashes. I have really good eyebrows. I don't need to do that. I enjoy doing it. Um, it's my job. It's what I do for a living. 
it's everything that I love to do, so that's why I do it. But she asked me to contour, and I was like, yeah, you know, obviously if you message me and you need something done, you want your, you know, acrylic nails you need to fill, you want your makeup done for homecoming, for a date night, for prom, for a wedding, um, girls night out, uh, a birthday party, an event, whatever. Yes, I will 98% of the time say yes if I'm not booked. For the next month, I am booked just because of homecoming and then Halloween, which is like a crazy makeup holiday. Um, but... I, I said, yeah, sure. I mean, I would love to do it, you know, just to see, you know, what she thinks she's going to look like or, you know, what I like seeing people's, um, what's the word, reaction when, you know, I do their makeup and they're like, oh my gosh, like, and, and the girl that asked, I went to school with her. Um, so she... <laughs> Probably didn't have any clue that I was going to be a makeup artist, um, but it, it's just so funny to do people I know to do their makeup and then them be like, oh my gosh, like it's amazing, you're so talented, I had no idea. Um, and it's just so cool to see the reaction and to see their face change because some people do have issues with their skin, some people do have acne, some people do have pores that they want to hide, you know. Some people do have those issues and contouring and putting foundation over all of that and concealer and powder and spray and all of that does cover up your imperfections. Yes, it definitely does. Um, and it makes you feel amazing because you can look in the mirror and not see the imperfections that you see. You know, some people don't see those imperfections. You know, there are certain things I'm sure about my face that people see, you know, my nose and they're like, oh my gosh, your huge nose. God gave me this nose. He gave me this big forehead. I love it, honestly. I would rather look like this than look like some other people. Um, I love my body. I love everything about my physical appearance. Um, my eyes are green and they change colors. I am a good chest size. I'm a good behind size. I'm not fat by any means whatsoever. Um, I love the way that God made me. Is there some things that if I had the money I would change? Yeah, probably. I was in a fight um, when I was in high school and that's why my nose is crooked, which um, probably nobody even realized until I just pointed it out, but um, would I like to get that fixed if I got the money? Sure. Is it a huge deal? Does it cause me problems? No, not at all. And 99% of people don't notice it. Um, so, you know, I do get that, that people have imperfections. We all do. I'm not saying that I'm perfect by any means. I'm just very happy and grateful for the physique and the skin and the body that I have. You know, my ears, my eyes are positioned perfectly. Um, my lips are decent. You know, my, my top lip could be a little bigger, but again, makeup can make it look bigger. Um, so yes, there are some things that if I had the money, I would change. Yeah, for sure. But is that going to be my first thing that I go out and do if I ever get a bunch of money? No, I have a business to run. I have kids. I have bills. So no, but again, um, that's what I was doing this month. I was doing a lot of homecoming. I would do like um, I had five teenage girls who are going to homecoming and they wanted to see a couple of looks so I would do the looks on them and then they would look at it and decide whether they liked it or not. We would take pictures, okay, this is the look that I want. Um, if they didn't like it, then we would, you know, take it off, do something else. Um, so that's why these videos, you know, for a while I didn't get to put anything out there. Also. Um, like I said in my August Boxy Charm unboxing, the video before this, 
I subs newly subscribed to Ipsy Glam Bag as well. So not only was I waiting on two BoxyCharm boxes, I was waiting on two Ipsy Glam Bag subscriptions for August as well. And I didn't get them until like two days ago. So the Ipsy videos are coming very shortly soon right after this one so it's probably gonna be like three or four videos in a row um but yeah so that's where i've been chaos school starting all of that um but we are going to get into this beautiful palette i love it it's awesome um i didn't prime my eyes i pretty much just used concealer which is what I normally do if I'm just like going to the grocery store or something if I'm going out or going on a date or something like that then I will prime my eyes but this is just like not your basic smoky eye um it's a little more in depth than that but I I use tart shape tape and they are really good with uh, using it as a base so let's get into it Okay, so like I've said in so many other videos, there are like five main brushes that I would suggest you purchasing first. Um, basically, I would say maybe, maybe six, I don't know. It depends on how good you are. Um, these are all morphe brushes um they probably came with the james charles palette or something so a couple of them well the four main ones that i use have black tops none of them have numbers they all just say morphe um this pencil brush which is what i use for my lower lash line every single time is a Morphe M431. And these are the five main brushes that I use every single time I do any type of eye look. Um, the main one is the first brush that you're gonna pick up and use. And this is going to lay down your transition col color. This is a fluffy brush and it's basically big enough to do your entire crease right here or your brow bone so this is your crease this is where this brush is gonna go which is your brow bone and this is just gonna be what I what you do with your transition color it fits right into there that's why I use it um, it's the basically like a me medium shader brush. Um, after I do my whole look, I go through, I don't put any, you know, any more product on this. I just go through and make sure everything's blended with this brush. Um, that's mainly what you would use this brush for. And each brush you will see goes down through my eye. So that's why I say five because there's five main, for a makeup artist, there's five main points to your eye, to creating an eye look. Your first one for your transition shade, then you're gonna go in with the smaller shader crease brush and go into a darker shade into your crease. And then you're gonna get a smaller brush, smaller um, crease brush you can see the difference right here this is the first one this is the second one that i use and this is the third blending brush that i use and this one goes even deeper because it's the smallest out of the crease brushes this is the one that i use with the darkest shade and i just go to create that smoky eye which you'll see um and then the last brush that I normally use or most makeup artists will use is like a flat. It's just a flat brush. 
very very flat and this is what I use I dampen it with setting spray this is my shimmer brush I have maybe one or two of these that I use specifically for shimmers just shimmers because obviously not obviously if you don't know um, you don't want to use <laughs> one of these for shimmer unless it's like matte and has a little bit of glitter in it you want to use a dampened flat brush for your shimmer to put in here and it like I said it all depends on the eye look that you're trying to create um so let's get into it take our first brush if you don't have these brushes specifically that's fine Morphe you can go to any Ulta store and get single Morphe brushes that's why I have these or they came in a collection that I got or something um, but we're gonna take our fluffy eyebrow bone brush and let's try to go into the transitions either one of these can be transition shades I've probably explained this before in one of my other videos a transition shade is the shadest the eyeshadow that is closest to your lid color so unless you're doing something crazy you don't want to go in with this red as your first shade because it's not going to blend out good if you try to add any lighter shades it's just going to look muddy it's going to look messy it's going to look i mean if you're new it's going to look unprofessional regardless but you always want to go in with a shade that is closest to your lid co color. So let's try this shade, Stepmom. It might be too light. It might not even show up on camera. I don't know. If it doesn't, then we'll go into the next one, which is called The Wife. And let's just start by putting this on the highest point, which is pretty much your brow bone yeah see it I mean it shows up but nothing crazy you always want to tap off the excess because you don't want to go in with a brush that's full of pigment because then you will get that muddy mess down here um, we might have to go in with the other color the white yeah let's go in with this color the wife that definitely seems like it's gonna show up a little bit better just because that stepmom shade was pretty much the shade of my skin oh yeah that's way better the wife and you just want to go windshield wiper motions i explained this in other videos you don't want to hold your brush down here you want to hold it kind of up at the top in the middle and you just want to do windshield wiper shades and you want to drag it out really down here um, because we're doing a smoky eye and this color is going to pretty much be all over the lid so just windshield wiper motions until you get the the color that you want to achieve as deep as you want it or whatever whatever kind of look you're doing okay so that shade is very 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 light i really had to dig into it and build it up a lot um but that basically is 10 times like literally going into the palette and and dipping into it and um but the next shade there are a lot of warm colors i think i'm actually gonna go into this one boss lady and i got my next brush which is a crease brush and this is smaller than the first one this is really gonna get into that crease and deepen it up so let's go into boss lady and deepen that crease 
and this oh, this brush really gets into the crease good and goes a little bit on the top you know and just perfectly blends that that's why you want to go from biggest to smallest brush and these are the brushes that you really want to start out in your collection and you want to take it down I always stop in the middle like where your brow right before your brow arches just because I've always done that with any type of look unless I'm just doing like a one shadow look and then if it's a smoky eye obviously then you want to go out a little further towards the end here so again you just want to really deepen the crease you can even go down a little bit you just want to take it and go all the way out to here pretty much and just keep to your desire till it gets to the darkness that you like pretty much and go out here and then I just go back and forth between eyes and just make sure that they're both even they both have a good amount of color distributed between the two of them. This reminds me of like a desert, a desert look. And that, is, that looks good to me. Just very red, like a red clay kind of look. Okay, now we're going to put this brush back, we're going to go into our next smallest crease brush and we're going to go into the next, pretty much the darkest shade in the palette, which is Bridal Party. And we're just going to dip, and these are all mattes, we're going to dip into that. And this will fit literally right into the end crease right in here which is where you want to really do your smoky eye and kind of in the V of your eye just really deepen that with this shade And you want to stay on the outside and really, really deepen it. And make that, that V to where it's just the natural V of your eye. Okay, so that is about as deep as we're going to get it. Before we do the shimmer, I'm going to take that pencil brush the M431 from Morphe and I'm going to take that color, the transition shade, the wife, and I'm going to do that on the lower lash line just to deepen that up, hence the smoky eye. And then I'm going to take that darkest shade bridal party and I'm going to, I'm not going to go the whole way around the lower lash line. I'm going to go right here. Like I said, this is the smoky part where 
the V of the I is. And you can really take this and get your upper lash line the whole way down to that V where you really want to darken it and make it, make it smoky. Okay. So, since it's not quite smoky enough, there's not enough smoky shades in this palette, I'm gonna grab this other palette that I got in July's BoxyCharm. This is a full on <laughs> smoky eye dream. Now these are all mattes. These are all shimmers. And I'm going to take probably the darkest shade. Um, and I'm gonna take, and this is when using other brushes kind of benefits, so to say. I'm gonna take this Morphe M213, which is like a flat, very flat, rounded. And this is what I use a lot to do liner instead of doing liquid, liquid liner, which I do. Um, but if I don't have time to do that and let it dry, I'll take this brush and I'll take it in one of the two darkest shades and I will create a more smoky, smoked out eye since that, sh that palette didn't really have any true, true browns. And you just wanna, like I said, take it in that V down the lower lash line and look how smoky. Now we're not done, it looks crazy, but look how smoked out that is now that we took that. That is smoky. And you can always just brush off the excess. Perfecto. And then obviously we're gonna go ahead and smooth that out, but not yet. And I'm gonna take that again and do it on this side. That palette just, I, I love Lala. I just don't think that she is good in the makeup game. I mean, her lip kits are definitely really, really good. That she created her lipsticks and her lip liners and all that are very, very good. Um, but eyeshadow, not so much. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now, like I said, we're gonna go through here, get the excess, then we're going to take the wife, and we're just gonna go through and make sure that everything is blended, especially now since we added that extra color from that other palette. You can even actually take your smallest um, crease brush and go back in and just smoke that out. Perfecto. I 
and that is a perfect smoky eye. Even with a palette that what wasn't so great. Like I said, take your setting powder brush and just go through the bottom. Because I still didn't do blush and stuff yet, but that's fine because we're going to do shimmer now. We're going to take our shimmer brush, and this is a trademark. If you get any setting spray, get the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is the best spray. And just spray your brush a little bit and pick a shimmer shade that you want. I think, since we're going with the smoked out look, let's do Princess of Bel Air. And just go in that. Looks like her shimmers are pretty good. Her mattes just aren't that great. And lay it down right in the center. Up. And that's why this brush is perfect because it's big enough to go up into the crease. Like so. Soon I'll get a better setup that way you guys aren't watching me on my phone. But that takes money. And then you do it with this eye. Sometimes I'll do it where I'll see what looks better a wet brush or a dry brush, but most, 99% of the time, a wet brush is always better with shimmers. Okay, now that that look is done, I think it turned out pretty good, other than the palette being kinda iffy. Maybe that's why it's in BoxyCharm, but I am going to go through and rebronze, add blush, I got a new, beautiful amazing blush from Ofra not cheap called Bellini and I'm gonna use this I'm gonna re contour ish bronze up my face and I'll be right back to finish off the eyes okay now I added the new blush I bronzed up with that iconic London bronzer that we got in the boxy charm yesterday too. I am going to add a little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to tight line up here and do a little bit on the bottom with Pixie's gel eye defining eyeliner. And I'll be right back. Did that. Now I'm going to take the Becca oldie but a goodie highlighter champagne pop one of the number one selling highlighters ever and i always add highliner highlighter up here to my brow bone bam bam i add it to my cupid's bow my inner corner Look at that, that makes a world of difference. Makes your eyes pop. And then I'm just using a Pixi, it's like a double-ended brush. So I use that. And I take the other end and just 
glow for the gods. Look at that. That is crazy. And then I finish off my lashes or my eyebrows by I carve them out just to define them a little more. I know that's kind of like old school, but that's what I do. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take the brow glue from NYX. This stuff is awesome. Literally so awesome. I love it. And I sprayed with Morphe's Continuous Setting Spray. Now I'm going to use ELF's Big Mood Mascara, which is it's awesome. It has a big wand. Look at that wand. It's huge. Perfect hourglass wand gets every lash. So I added mascara and that is it. That is all. That is our finishing look with Give Them Lala Beauty's palette that was in the base BoxyCharm. Um, I think the look came out really good, honestly, especially with my hair. It kind of matches the auburn in my hair. So the palette isn't that great, but again, it's it, it was in BoxyCharm, so sometimes it's hit or miss with them, but I have tons of more stuff. I just got this brand new palette from Ofra. It's amazing. Just came out. It is Beachside, and then I have the two Ipsy packages, the Ipsy glam bags. I'm going to film that tomorrow and edit it that night to get it out, and then I have a huge box of BoxyCharm launches that came out all summer. Um, so I'm gonna film those videos probably this week, um, if not into next week, over the weekend, um, and get those out for you guys. But if anybody has any questions or needs help with anything, wants to know anything, um, just hit me up in the comments ask me questions if you need help with anything um just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching beauty by Brittany. thank you